I've met many young people who said, I'd love to do something positive for my community, but don't know what to do. I used to go and tell them to do a charity skydive, because that sounded like fun. But two, three years ago, I started to read the research about the lonely elderly. Then, as I got into it, realised that often that was accompanied by dementia. And I thought, let's use the army of young people out there to help the army of people with dementia. So um, the Befriend Us scheme is when young people come to homes like St Peter's <laughs> to um, come and talk to residents who have dementia um, and who are going through the experience to uh, create a friendship with them and to make the experience as easy as possible for them. She likes to stand up and look at you. Yeah, she does. She's got big eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. She's lovely, isn't she? She is. You can hold her if you want oh, to, thank do you? Yeah. Although we do have some students that come in and will probably gel with, you know, several pe people. I know we, we've got a couple of students here who really, um, you know, will, will come in and they'll see their certain person, and it's fan fantastic because not only have they kind of bonded with, with them, their families have got to, to know them. Their families come in the afternoon and they'll sit with with them, um, and they're kind of like an extended member of their of of their life. I do normally see the same person weekly if because uh, the staff here have told me that he's he's more open to me. So uh, we could play like like cause he's got a problem with the speech. It's a bit difficult to talk to him at first and like it's more of getting the connection really. So it's more of a bit of a charade game that we play. And it's always a laugh, because if I get it wrong, we both just laugh. But we get there in the end. Where did you teach them, Bill? Well, I teach, um, I suppose I did most of my teaching in London Borough of Havering. And where did you grow up? There are people who say that I never did. <laughs> I feel like the one down there. No, it has to be on the end of four or six. All right. Yeah, they definitely um, open up about um, certain elements in their life and what they did in past jobs and their family and stuff, but sometimes it gets a bit confused in their heads, so you've got to... Um, sort of put certain pieces together really sometimes but um, yeah they definitely open up to you um, the more your friendship sort of grows with them. My main motivation for wanting to volunteer in a care home was that I heard that people, especially old people, <laughs> about 40% of them said that their TV or their pet was their best friend so that just sounded so sad and poor. I lost my husband and I lost all I got. Mm -hmm. But I've got a birthday on Friday. Yeah. And behind that picture, he used to be a person. Yeah. And they tell me that's a birthday present. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I yeah. must know much. No. <laughs> no, no, no. And I think it opens people's minds up and I think it does long term, even if you never want to work in, in care afterwards, I think it would give you some sort of un understanding of um, how to approach someone who has de 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 dementia. You know, we, we often go out, we you know, see people in our local shops who you know, may be struggling to try and you know, open their purse or try and get some money out. And I think it gives you that kind of um, that sense to think, well, actually, that person might need a bit of help, and maybe that for, for them might give them the confidence to sort of help that person. When I first like joined dementia, it was just like what was it like memory problem? But now it's I've got a better understanding, knowing it is a mental health issue, and that they can't help it, and there's no cure for it at this like at this point in time. 
it's raised more awareness for me of what it is and uh, the, sort of the different stages of it as well. There's also a big problem that when people get dementia, their families don't know how to cope. That as the personality of the person with dementia changes, many families will shy away from them. So hopefully Yopi Befriender is going to ensure among those young people who do Yopi Befriender today that they aren't in the families that abandon people with dementia in years to come. You walk out after you've talked to them and you know that you've left them in a good mood and it's just nice to know that you've helped somebody and made someone feel better if they've not had the best day and to make things easier is always nice to know. The atmosphere here is just lovely and um, everyone's really nice and kind. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like being part of a really big family. That is such a Columbus. <laughs> Does it mean you get very steady pictures? This is a part I like. <laughs> <laughs> that goes in there quite nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Take that off and put it on her head. <laughs> you are really camera happy. You look smiles and tears. You like technology, don't you? Oh, yeah, I, I think technology is that absolute magic. It really is. Yeah. The things that we can do now with technology are tremendous.